we're going to plant some tomatoes in our makeshift raised bed. What I do is I take a, some old large tractor tires and fill them and cut the, the rim out of it there and use those for raised beds. What we're going to do is we're actually going to do a little bit of an experiment. I'm going to do um, worm castings in this one and then later this week I'm going to prep that one and I'm going to actually put a fish under each tomato plant like I saw on um, oh, I think it's Nancy and Hollis's YouTube channel and I'm going to compare and see how they do to each other so what I'm going to do is I'll put the same varieties or several of the same some of the same varieties in each one and we'll just kind of compare how they go so I need to uh, take care of some ants in that one first before I go any farther with it it's as you might can tell it's got quite the large ant bit in there so anyway um, let me finish getting these ready to go and we'll put some tomatoes in okay and here's the first tomato ready to go in you'll see what I did is I snipped all of these stems here um, one thing I've learned that I have not been doing entirely correctly is I've been planting these too shallow and they really want it to be a bit deeper. Okay, I am going to go ahead and toss in a little handful of worm castings into the hole. And then we're just going to bury it down in there. The idea is that this will root all along that stem and make a much healthier, stronger plant. So that's the way we're gonna plant these and we'll go ahead and get the rest of these in and we'll see what we look like. And here we go. They are in the ground. Um, realistically, I probably need to go ahead and prune that one off. It's kind of dragging on the ground there. But they're in there, or I say the ground, in the, the raised bed. I'm going to go ahead and plant the other two there, and then when that bed, bed right, ne ah, right next to us is ready to go, I will go ahead and plant some in there for the experiment by catching some fish from the pond out there and putting them in there. I did pick up some garden lime to put on top of them. Apparently that helps cover the smell so that it keeps critters from trying to dig in them. So, anyway, as always, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying, hit like, hit subscribe. We appreciate it. Take care.